Hello, I'm going to do a little bit of a TR act. I'm not going to be standing up at all because I can't stand up without my boot. I'm going to go put them into the cradle. But we're going to start with a little warm up. And I'm going to try not to talk as much. We're going to start out with a pull up sway. But I'm not going to pull up with it, so I'm going to just call it a sway. Um, so we come back, hands in the cradle. We're going to come and then you lift the opposite arm. We're going side to side. Look up. <clears throat> really bring that opposite arm up. You'll be working your obliques in this move. <clears throat> this is everyone's favorite. <laughs> Two more on each side. We're just warming up. Now I'm going to pull up. Now, all you're going to do here is we're going to hold on to the handle. Come back and pull up. Pull it up. Palms facing you. Bicep. We're just warming it up. I always look up. Five more. Okay, now we're going to do that swaying motion with your hands on the cradle. So it's a little higher. But you come back. <clears throat> Side to side. Really lift that up. <clears throat> Working them obliques. Side. Palms down. Take a 
breathe. Breath in, blow out, through the mouth, and through the nose. So we're gonna come down. Down. I used to, 
but I don't do this as much um, with my um, recovery. So we're gonna come down here and do a couple sit-ups, and then we're gonna move on. So here we go. Now we're gonna do five of them. I love, love, love working off my Belicon. It's so comfy. Move forward. Now, now, we do that same move, but we're gonna rock that baby. So, it's just like, because I've had 10 babies, um, I've rocked a lot of babies, and I think, I think of rocking them in the womb. So, Hands behind, you're gonna pick your body up, like right here. Got it? Now, rock it up. Really side to side. And all the moves together. One more on each side. I come down. Stretch forward. Now, because this will really work the upper body. So we're going to come and lay down and do one of the moves we did earlier. So this. It's like you're walking. Booty's up, just a tad, not onto the mat, but push it. Okay, now we're going to come up again. I'm going to stretch forward. I always feel good to stretch a little bit in between. And now, Now what I mean by that is we're going to come up and get your butt up as high as you can. So I come here, I always have to get just so, I'm going to push my legs up and hold it up. I look up, look up, tighten that butt. make it look easy, but you hold that. It's good enough for me to do this. About 20 more seconds. Tighten up that booty. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back. Woo, you can feel that in your arms, I bet. <laughs> That's a very good arm, upper body workout. Um, so, we're going to hold on to the run here, pull it back, it's like a little cat cow I showed in the other uh, video, get that stretch going. make that last move just a tad harder. If you can do it, it's a supine sit back. Supine is up. So I'm facing up. I come into the plank. I push my legs forward and then I'm going to bring my booty back between my arms. I'm not going to do that many. I can't remember the last time I did these. It's been a few months. So I did them constantly for several years. All right, we're going to get ready, set, come up, and pull it up. So, bring it back. My booty, I don't even feel it on the mat. Just barely right there. 
there. Bring it back. Right 
elbow somewhat straight. Up. Come up. Go the other way. When I'm coming back, especially. One more. Okay. Then I'm going to look back. So we got a little stretch in. Now, I'm going to show you um, with a towel. I use that. I was going to do um, some of the other moves more advanced, but I'm going to start with what is called a side plank. Okay? Um, you start right and right, or left and left, right and right. Now, I'm going to start by coming over on this side. Okay? So it doesn't matter how you have your feet, but I have my back one behind. So you get right up on your hip, okay? And then you're gonna, you can pull yourself up with your hand first. Then, you're gonna lift that hand, arm up. For the bouncy queen and the plank queen. It up. Keep that hip up. Don't let it sag down. Hold it up. Keep it up. About five more seconds. That's it. Now we're going to do it again for a little more advanced. We're going to do ten of them. So I come up and if you can't pick yourself up on your elbow, all you have to do is lay here like this and then lift up your hip like that. You can hold on to the, to the rim. You don't have to come up on the elbow. That's how 90% um, of my members do when they first start. So I'm going to come up into that plank, hand behind my head. I'm going to come over and touch my left elbow to the mat. So I get up like this. I'm going to do five. The key is to stop the swing. Don't let your TRX swing. I'm doing 10. One more. Okay, now, if you have a hard time with that, I'm gonna repeat. I'm not gonna do that same thing, but I'm gonna show you what they do. And they feel it really well that way too. So you can just relax. You can hold on here however you want. But I just feel comfortable to kind of hold on a little bit. You kind of relax and then lift your hip up. Just make sure that it's not touching the mat. So when I do those moves, Remember, just come up like that, and you're gonna feel it. Got it? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna switch to the other side so you see the back. Okay. Now, I usually have that top leg to the back. That's just how my legs end up going. But I have this towel here because of the um, the elbow digs in. So I make sure I'm in good alignment here. All I'm going to do, I usually pick up without pushing off my hand. I come up and I lift up. Really hold it up. Go about 10 or 15 more seconds. Maybe you can see better here. If I lay down, you can't bring yourself up, and that's okay because eventually you'll be able to. You should just lift your hip up like that. Got it? All right, now I'm going to do the one behind my um, head and then come down. I'm going to do 10. But some people push off their top arm 
but I like to add a little bit to it by not pushing myself up off. Now, I'm swinging a little bit. I wait till I'm done swinging. One side will be harder than the other. Try not to swing. That's hard. Almost half. This side's a little harder for me. I find myself swinging more. Study the swing. Hold 
it up. Get that prayer position. Now we're going to bring them up and down. Arms up to. Ten more. We did ten. Bands. Um, I have a BOSU, I use my medicine balls, and I have a total gym, I have a cycle trainer on it. That way I'm always switching things up. That way your muscles aren't used to doing the same thing over and over and over. And after a while, your body's used to it. It's not challenging anymore. So um, that's where I'm at. And it's always good to switch it up. And this is a good way to start learning the TRX by sitting down. That's how I have always taught uh, people who can't, uh, have come to my studio, my bouncing studio, um, by sitting down. And um, because when they would see people standing up, it was a little intimidating to them. So this is the great way in order to learn it. And oh, I hope you have a great day. And I'm going to pinch together. Stretching is just absolutely amazing. Um, you gotta get those muscles all stretched out. Well, hope you have a really good day. We have the sun out, not as cold, so that's nice. We still have snow, but that's okay. So have a great day.